What's up everybody, welcome to the Third World Dream. In this video, I will be discussing a game called Pixels Heroes Adventure, a huge up-and-coming game in the Ronin ecosystem. In a few days, they will be launching or having the official release of the Pixels Heroes Adventure game because right now, all you can really play is Tap Adventure, which is their Telegram game. In this video, I will be sharing everything you need to know before the official launch of the game. Let's start with Tap Adventure. There's a PvP and PvE game, both having their own leaderboards. Both are also just a tapping game. The PvP is not bound by energy, so you can play it for however long you want. However, the PvE does have an energy mechanic within it. You regain energy over time, and you can also expand your energy storage by spending some coins. To add more energy and coins, you can also complete some quests or some tasks. The coins that you acquire from playing PvE can also be used in the gacha machine. Here you can get toys which are their collection and toys are what you can use in PvP and PvE. The most important thing that you have to pick up from this is that on a daily reset, the PvE part of the game allows you to gather keys. These keys can be used to open a normal chest back in the official website. More on that in a while. Let's move towards the official website. At the home page, you can see that there is a bunch of heroes, toys, and materials here. At the moment, there's nothing listed on the Mavis Marketplace, but those are likely gonna be the NFTs that you will be trading. Next, we have the pre-register tab. You can also see a trailer of the MMO game of Pixels Tap Adventure or Pixels Heroes Adventure. This is what it would look like. You could also register your email here so that you can be eligible for the game when it officially launches. On the airdrop tab, I think this was already completed and is already done. I think before it even migrated to the Rony network. Unfortunately, I did not participate in any of the games so I don't have any ADVTR token which is their primary token similar to the AXS token of Axie Infinity. For those who did participate, I guess this is where you would see where the rewards would pop up. In the play to mint tab, we can see some chests and keys that we can use to open for some rewards. Premium chests I believe are NFTs, while the normal chests are infinite but require 30 keys to open. You can obtain some keys as I said a while ago from the tap adventure game in the PvE mode. Know that you can only claim this on a limited basis because it resets daily. So if you're new to the game, be aware of that so you understand why you can't claim the keys yet. Just wait until the next day and then I guess you can claim your keys by then. What you can get from the normal chest is stated below. You have a guaranteed chance to get some play points and a chance to win diamonds or summoning stones. Play points and diamonds can be used in the official game while the summoning stone can be used right now to collect various primal heroes. I will be summoning one at the end of the video, so stay tuned until the very end. If you want more keys and you haven't used the referral code yet, considering using mine, it's on the screen right now and it will be on the link on the description. This will give us both 3 keys each, so it's a win-win. Finally, if you haven't already done it, complete the mission stated below. It's just a bunch of connect connecting X accounts, Discord accounts, and your own wallet. Let's skip the summoning stone for now and head to the bridge tab. Here you can bridge assets that you may have used in the Polygon network and bridge it to the Ronin ecosystem. These are NFTs created or minted prior to the migration of the game to the Ronin network. We also have here the bank tab. Here you can swap or convert MGT tokens into M Gold, which is a requirement for summoning a hero. MGT is their newly launched token 
and has done huge multiples since its launch. This is the main utility of the token. I will now be swapping 300 MGT tokens for M Gold. All I have to do is input the number of tokens I want, which is 300, and then just confirm the transaction in my Ronin wallet. Now that the transaction has been completed, I can now try to summon a hero. Now let's go back to the summoning tab. We can see the summoning stone NFTs right here, which can be bought in the Mavis marketplace. I will click the rare summoning stone because this is the NFT that I have. We can see here the types of heroes that I can acquire. There's a big chance that it's just gonna be a rare hero and a slight chance that we can obtain some epic heroes. Now, using the NFT and 300M gold, let's see what's inside the summoning stone. So, we got an orange bear, it's just a rare hero, unlucky, but I think this will be good enough or decent enough when the official game launches, maybe we can still farm for some airdrops. That is all for this video, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like below, that's a YouTube algorithm to push this video to more people who may want to see it or may need to see it. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will be making a whole lot of videos on various games in the Ronin ecosystem, so don't miss any of that. If you want to know the projects that I'm grinding on a daily basis, go check out the video on the screen right now. See you there, and happy gaming everybody.